A new one from Adam's Arms. It's the AA-19 coming up. Hey guys, I'm Johnny with PewPewTactical.com, your definitive source for gun reviews, gear guides, and all things that go bang. Today we're taking a look at the AA-19. It's the newest release from Adam's Arms. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell you all about it. I get it out to the range and also hopefully help you decide if this nine millimeter pistol is right for you. Spoiler alert, I had a great time with it. Hey, if it's your first time here, we always put a ton of stuff right down below for you to check out. And there's gonna be a link that's gonna jump over to our website. Once you get on our website, there's gonna be an article. Look up above and down below. There's a lot in there to help you out in the bang department. Finally, our Pew Pew Tactical Tees, they are soft and they're awesome. I wear them all the time. We also have new hoodies that just arrived today. And we have a lot in our merch store, so check it out. You know where the link is, it's right down below. Now you may be like me and you know Adam's Arms more for their AR platform offerings, including their pretty well-known piston system. Well, this one is way on the other end of the market. It's the AA-19. Now it's a striker fired, compact size nine millimeter pistol. And I think the easiest way to describe it is it's AA-19, so Adam's Arms, 19, that's kind of Adam's Arms take on the Glock 19, you totally get it. And LOL, yes, all you chuckleheads, it does take Glock magazines. Now the frame is polymer and the grip, I'm gonna call not bad at all. Some really good texture and the trigger guard is already double undercut, so no need to do all that stippling stuff that guys do to gain a grip advantage. Up front, there's a rail for all of your flashlight options, so choose how you want to proceed. Up top, there's a stainless steel slide that's machined from 416 billet, and that slide has a black nitride coating. Adam's Arm says that finish is long wearing, so we'll see. And you have already noticed this, y'all have seen it, it's the cut that's on the slide for your optic of choice. So I think this is really one of the best features of the AA-19 that the slide is already cut for an optic. The barrel is match grade and it's threaded to add a suppressor down the road. Capacity is 15 plus one in the pipe, which is exactly what you'd expect. What it comes with is Boxception. It's a plastic box that's inside of a cardboard box and it comes with two PMAG magazines. Ergonomics I'm gonna call good. The grip angle is typical Glock, so pretty familiar in your hands, and it's got a beaver tail that I like. Now, it didn't protect my giant hands at all, but I do think normal-sized humans are gonna be good to go with that beaver tail. Now, as far as aesthetics, I think it's pretty clean. The branding is minimal, and I like the tri-stars on the side of the barrel. Nice-looking gun. MSRP right now is $9.99. And the gun is made in the US and get this it has a lifetime warranty from Adams Arms The sights are pretty standard to look at but I think they're actually made out of steel Which is a huge upgrade from regular Glock plastic sights that you and I are both used to all right Let's get out to the range for this test. Yeah, I continued on the path of only using Russian steel case ammo I loaded up every Glock style mag that I could find and I love let her rip, had a great time. Now this thing shoots what I'm gonna call really, really well. It was nothing but fun at the range and it did everything that I asked it to do. Now one note, out of the box, the slide was really not smooth at all. Turns out the rails were super dry, so I oiled it up and it immediately felt great. So if you get a brand new one, keep that in mind. I'm a sample size of one, but mine did come in dry straight from the factory. Accuracy wise, I stacked rounds. I kept it within normal defensive distances, but that match grade barrel, it put shots right where I wanted them. I'm happy to report to you that the gun runs great. It feeds, it fires, it ejects, it is a winner. But I did have one problem at the range consistently with one of the PMAGs. It just wouldn't run right, like it wouldn't feed, the gun wouldn't go into battery. But all of the other mags ran perfectly. So what I'm gonna do on this one, I'm gonna blame that one PMAG and not the AA-19 at all. This is not really a huge surprise. 
I've always thought that genuine Glock mags, they really do run better than P mags. Great question of the day for y'all. Your experience is Glock mags or P mags, or are they kind of interchangeable? All right, let me tell you what I like on this one. In a day where too many companies only ship one magazine, I do like that Adams Arms is shipping two mags. I think it's a nice feature. I also like the options this one gives you with that slide already cut for your optic. And I know that cut slides are sort of moving towards being industry standard, but I still like it on this one. I've kind of buried the lead here, but I really, really like the trigger. Like it's clean, it breaks so good, and it's certainly an upgrade from a lot of the Glock style triggers that are on the market. It's called the Tango Down Vickers Tactical Carry Trigger. Dumb name, great trigger. Six words, Tango Down Vickers Tactical Carry trigger. All right, finally, I do like the lifetime warranty and I think it's great that it's made in the US. Now, as far as shortcomings, I've got a pair for you. First, I'm not a big fan of the black on black sights. Yeah, I know a lot of folks are going to put an optic on this, but for me, that front sight was really hard to pick up in low light situations. But that's nothing that some white fingernail polish, just a dot on the front can fix. Now, second, I found both the slide release and the mag release to be both a little bit tight. It's a brand new gun. It may work in over time, but right now the jury for me is out just a little bit, a little bit tight on both of those releases. But overall, the AA-19 is a winner. It looks great, it runs great and in my hands was reliable and accurate, so I'm gonna give it two big thumbs up from me. On behalf of the entire Pew Pew Tactical team, I'm Johnny, and we'll see you soon.